Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, you know, all praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. He gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we may get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. This is a time for us to kind of get together and kind of regroup and get some more clarification as to the society and the world that we are living in. As we look at how the states are trying to rapidly reopen, you know, the different uh, social venues, uh, the heaven of the Gentiles, they're going to quickly see that they're going against the Most High's commandments. He's the one that has cl closed this country. And see, this is the thing with most of the world here. I'm looking at all these protests here in California and people wanting to go to the beaches. And I'm sitting here and listening to uh, these commentators making these statements and they have no understanding. There was one guy that was, uh, there was a big group of people in Huntington Beach and uh, there was a, re was a reporter who says, you know, what these people here, you know, in this country and here in California and these government officials don't understand is you don't go between these people and their God, you know, given rights to go to the beach and to enjoy the beach and, and things like that. Now, see, this is where everyone is, the, especially the, say, the Gentiles. Even our people who are cleaving to the Gentiles and cleaving to their ways, they don't understand that these lands have been ordained and given to a particular group of people. They don't understand that when they're talking about the Most High or God or whatever else, that there are two. There's the one that they created who is, uh, you know, this guy, Good Times Jesus, and the true power that's actually spoken of in the scriptures. See, they don't understand that the Bible has nothing to do with their churches. The scriptures, our scriptures, have nothing to do with their churches. I was listening to some people who were just complaining about, I hate, you know, watching um, church online, and I can't wait for us to be able to go back to church. Well, you know, they don't understand that going to church has spirits attached to that church. When they go in there, there's spirits demons that are there they give them these certain kinds of feelings you know they play their music and it, it you know entices certain emotions the whole church setup i said when they get you in those buildings i said they make you feel a certain way it's a much different vibe when they have to really teach you know online but they really have to teach the truth with without the music, without the demons, without the, you know, being right there to whisper in your ear, to make people think a certain way, to make, you know, elicit certain responses and feelings. They don't have that power right now. So now they're forced to teach and they can't do it. That's why you see all these pastors, you know, pretty much define law enforcement, define the laws. And telling people to, you know, keep coming on in there. And they're getting sick. And they're catching COVID. And they're dying. Now, however the Most High takes them out, if it's through COVID, if it's just a, 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 a stroke, a heart attack, it's all ultimately the Most High. See, these people don't understand. You know, they're, all, they're fighting to get everything reopened. And nothing has changed. I'm sitting here looking at uh, these certain shows and they're talking about, you know, uh, Trump and his uh, administration doing a victory lap like they've won and that, you know, we're going to go ahead and open everything back up. And there's been over a million people um, that have, uh, you know, caught coronavirus, you know, over 65,000 dead. Now, you know, and they're also like acting like <clears throat> 
it's not even true. COVID's made up. Is he asked for people always, you know, they come up with this. This is made up. This isn't true. They're taking away your rights. The most high is taking away your rights. These people in these higher positions, they're just the ones that the most high is using to take away your rights. See, good times Jesus would never take away your right to have a good time. But the most high of the scriptures, he damn sure will. Because he did that to us. And that's why the vast majority of the world ignores everything that's happened to us. Because they know that if they, ign if they acknowledge what's happened to us, then they know that they're due for what we went through and so much more. So therefore, they need to um, just ignore our plight. Ignore everything that's gone, you know, that's gone down. And they've been able to do that too also by them being the ones that have elevated themselves into these positions uh, of power, that they are the ones that can tell you how the Bible breaks down. And that's exactly what they've been doing. So that they'll tell you, oh, we still got a seven year tribulation period. Oh, you know, don't worry yet, you know, because you're going to get raptured up out of here. You, know, you look at these people and how, you know, these are so-called Christians. Look at how they're acting. They're acting like they're going through slavery because they've been told to stay home for six weeks. They've been sitting here acting like, you know, I used to, I'm sure you guys have seen it. You know, the white dude who was equating, you know, staying at home to slavery. And it's just, and, you know, and taking away their, their rights. And we're going to get into some scriptures that actually prove exactly what's going on. See, we got, like I said, we got two powers. We got fake Jesus right here. Fake son of God right here. All made up right here. And then you got the power of the Bible. The power of the Hebrews. And see, the, the whole world here has had to make up a right hand and a left hand. They have had to make, you know, Democrats and Republicans. They've had to make up all these, you know, all these different things, you know, so that they can make it seem like they were, so one, one uh, side is fighting for good and one side is fighting for evil, but they've been fighting for exactly the same things. It's just one group will stab you in the back and one will stab you in the front. But ultimately, they're all working for the priesthood of Mahan. When we get to some scripture short, you're going to see that. You know, look at these people. Defy fascist lockdown. You know, these people are just screaming and losing their minds because they think that, you know, good times Jesus, he's not the one that's shutting everything down, which is true. It's the power of the Most High. He's the one that is shutting everything down. They have created, you know, these, this world here has created another Jesus or another Yahawashai. And the, the one that they created is all about good things, all about partying, all about making sure we have, you know, our barbecues, make sure we have all of our, you know, fake feast days, make sure we have our um, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, Fourth of July, every single thing they can come up with, they're gonna they're going to celebrate every single um, celebration they can, except what the Most High wants them to celebrate. You see, and that's what's been going on. So, this whole time, the whole world has been confederate with keeping us down and enjoying themselves. You know, making sure they have their sports and it just goes all over the whole year. You get your football season, you get your, you know, basketball season, you get your hockey season, get your baseball season, you get your golf tournaments, and then it just recycles year after year. You get your college football, college basketball, you know, and that's what they, and that's what they worship. You know, you, you run to Vegas. I was watching a whole show about Vegas and how it's all, it's been running 24 seven seven days a week for decades and now all of a sudden it's a ghost town you really think the most high of the scriptures really cares about you going to sin city and having a good time see the one of the bible he hates your feast days the one that you made up he wants you to party all the time you know he's your eddie murphy party all the time jesus you know, that's what he's been wanting. Yeah, that's what you guys have made up. You guys have made a party all the time, Jesus, right here. You know, and now 
party all the time, Jesus ain't work ain't working out for you. He's not fighting for you no more. He, he you know, pretty much giving you six weeks and you guys are losing your damn minds now. Now you're going to see why, because party all the time, Jesus right here does not exist either. You know, so let's check check out this here. Just, just look at these pictures, man. Look at these people. You know, you're going to see how many of you know are just losing their mind. Stop the shutdown. Let me go out here. It's my it's my constitutional right to go out here and and breathe all on you and get you sick or you get me sick and survival of the fittest. Let's take a look at some scriptures and some things here. Let's take a look at lamentations. Let me get my stuff here. <clears throat> See, they've ignored our plight, but now they're getting, they're just, they're not even getting, I mean, hello, you get a, a couple things shut down and forced to stay home. And like I said, these people have lost their minds. Let's go to uh, Lamentations 4 and 11. Let's read a little bit of this real quick. Lamentations 4 and 11. The Lord hath accomplished his fury. He hath poured out his fierce anger. And hath kindled a fire in Zion, and it hath devoured the foundations thereof. Okay, so we've gone through all of our beatdowns. The rest of you guys have no idea because you ignored everything that's gone on to us. And there's all these other books and other information that's coming out. They're showing how deep the destruction of our people and the things that they've been doing to us that they've hidden. 12. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. For the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her. They have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, Depart ye, it is unclean. Depart, depart, touch not, when they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, they shall no more sojourn there. Okay. So our people aren't going to sojourn on our lands anymore. You know, you guys took control of them, but that's going to happen to you as, as well. You're not going to be sojourning in our lands after our, you know, we have completed our punishment. Okay. 16. The anger of the Lord hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Okay? There's no one is going to save us. From the, when the Most High says that we're going to go into, uh, you know, torments, or we're going to be destroyed, or we're going to be given to another nation. There's absolutely nothing that we can do about it. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you guys as well. Unless you guys are fighting and to have everything reopened. If the Most High is not with you anymore, if the Most High is not giving you, you know, authority over us or the lands anymore. When you open up these things, when you open up the country again, it's just going to bring more death and destruction. 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. That is exactly what is happening right now. This happened to us. Why don't you make sure you read it real slow, people? You know, especially you Gentiles. I said, look at what happened. We were given this land. And what does 18 say? They hunt our steps. You know, our enemies have hunted our steps. That we cannot go in our streets. We were not allowed to go out into our streets anymore. We couldn't go out and enjoy our lands anymore. We couldn't go to our beaches anymore because our enemies hunted our steps. We weren't able to go to nice restaurants. We weren't able to go to our places of education. We weren't able to go on our vacations. Why? Read 18 again. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. So you guys think that these streets are yours still. These streets, this land is of the Most High. He gives it to the ones who follow him. He gives, he gave it to us. We didn't want to follow him. So he used you to come over here and be these ones that are going to be, we're going to be hunting our steps. Your problem is you think that 
these these lands are going to be yours forever. And now the Most High is making moves to take you out and take you away from our lands. You can't understand that. The only ones that are going to be staying here are the ones the Most High co-signs for, the ones the Most High approves. If he doesn't approve you, you're not staying. It's very simple. So these feelings that you guys are getting right now about, hey, it's, it's my God-given right to go out and enjoy the beaches and go out and, you know, go to the, you know, go to camping, go to the forest, go to the desert and ride my dirt bikes. It's not your God-given right. The Most High gives it and he takes it away. So again, let's read that 18 again. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. That pertained to us before, but now it pertains to you Gentiles now. There is no... You know, uh, going back and let me get a little, an extra seven years to destroy you guys for another seven years and take control of your lands again. That's not in scriptures. There's no, hey, you guys get a chance to beat us down for another seven years. That's that's not what it's saying. Once, it, once our time was fulfilled, that was it. See, they're the ones that are hoping for another seven years. The Gentiles and these ones who are here, these land squatters are the ones that want another seven years to enjoy everything and everything go back into place. So they can get their, you know, or their lives back. But that's not what the Most High says. Let's go to 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid way, uh, wait for us in the wilderness. So they made it so we couldn't go anywhere on our own lands. And now see, the Most High has got this virus out here waiting for people who don't want to listen to the things that he has mandated. So it's like, okay. You guys want to open it up? Go right ahead and see what the Most High does to you. What you're going to see is in the next few weeks, a whole lot of people getting sick. You know, like you got these people taking victory laps like they've won something and they're going to open up the country and, and how they've done such a great job. Well, that's not going to continue. Well, it's not even continuing now. It's, it's like 1.1 million people are sick. I heard uh, Lisa Cabrera did a video about how... Um, the, the, uh, the sicknesses and the deaths in uh, Georgia have been rising ridiculously over the last 24 hours. And that's just going to go all over the country. But let's continue. Again with 19, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid uh, wait for us in the wilderness. So we were not allowed to go all over our lands. And now the Most High just returning the favor to the rest of you. You will not be allowed to go over, you know, and enjoy these lands either. And he's got a virus waiting for you. If, and if people want to act like it's not true, go right ahead. Go out there and run the streets and see what the Most High does. If you want to act like the Most High is playing and if this stuff isn't true and it's all made up, go right ahead. Because they'll see people like, um, you know, Trump or the vice president out there without their, um, their masks. Do you guys understand why it is that maybe some of them can walk around without masks? How it doesn't affect certain ones? Do you guys remember how the plagues were affecting um, the Egyptians? But the Most High spared the Pharaoh so he could see the destruction of his lands. So the Pharaoh could see the destruction of what he has built. Now, we're just like in Egypt again. So the Most High wants you know these elites to be the last ones that feel the pain. So they might get affected here and there a little bit, but the Most High is going to, you know, if he wants them to stay here and see the downfall of the kingdom, that's exactly what will happen. So just because, you know, you see Trump or you see the vice president not following orders, not wearing face masks, see, there's a lot, it's a lot deeper than what you're thinking. Most High wants them to see it. That's why he's allowing all these uh, elites, you know, to run so they can see the destruction, you know, like a little mental you know, breakdown for the people as well. The vast majority of the world has no idea what's going on, but the elites do. And just think about the mental anguish that they're, that they're going through right now, knowing that the real power is executing his plan. Okay, let's go to 20. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was taken in their pits. 
of whom we said under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And they're being shown, you know, their, their secret things are being shown. Now let's look at 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. So what you're seeing right now is a shift. You're seeing that cup being, uh, being taken from our hands and given to all the ones of the Gentiles and the ones of our nation who have been confederate. That's what you're seeing right now. And now you're seeing these people losing their minds, live free or die. Well, live, if, if you talk about living free is enjoying our lands, well, if you don't want to listen to what the Most High says, the or die part is probably what's going to be fitting you pretty well. But you see the vast majority of people showing up with guns, you know, military equipment, you know, thinking that they're going to shoot the virus. Just showing you how ridiculous these people are. You got your COVID-19 is a lie. Everything's conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Yeah, you got your one Jake right here, you know, maybe. <laughs> like I said, I, I don't give everyone the, the benefit of the doubt anymore. You got so many people, so many two-thirds um, who just want to be down with the Gentiles. And if that's what they want to do, be my guest. The Trump 2020 signs and everything else. I'm saying I'm most positive this is in Huntington Beach um, over in Orange County. Now, let me show you. See, I was talking to my brother earlier and we were talking about Wisdom of Solomon chapter two. And what they don't understand is this. You know, this is why they hide these books. Wisdom of Solomon chapter two. I mean, Wisdom of Solomon chapter two explains exactly what's going on right now. You know, if you read it, go through and read it and you'll see how the Gentiles and the ones who have been confederate with them have been able to enjoy these lands. And they know they're only going to enjoy them for a short amount of time. So that's what they've lied to you guys about. They made you feel like it's going to be like this forever. It was going to be a party on our lands forever. But see, these guys know that it was only going to be for a short amount of time. So that, remember, that, that meant that they went, yo, they were going to go, YOLO, you only live once. Enjoy everything to the fullest. But see, now that time has come to an end, and now these people are not understanding why it is that, you know, they're being forced to stay inside. They're like, hey, I should be able to go out and do whatever I want forever. These are my lands. This is God's country. You're right. You guys don't get it. But it's not, it's not, you know, party all the time, you know, white Jesus land. That's not what this is. I said, you know, Most High is showing you that it's not your lands. That's why you can sit here and you can see it. You guys can get in your cars. You can drive by Disneyland. You can drive by Disney World. You can drive by Staples Center. You can see it. It's so close. You can smell it. You can just want everything to go back to normal. But the Most High is not going to allow you to open that up. And if you do, just know that there's going to be punishments when that happens. I'm sure a lot of these people who just showed up and all these are, are protests are going to end up getting sick. Most High is going to, you know, definitely, he, he's going to be bringing it to them. And he's going to be, you know, vexing their spirits as well. You know, by not listening to, you know, they, they think they're listening to these, um, these country, well, they're the, the governors, mayors, those people are just following orders. Their order is to, you know, shut things down. And that's what they're doing. But they're getting their orders from the Most High. He's the one. That's making them shut everything down. Let's read a little bit of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Let's see here. Let's start with 5. Uh, nope, 4. And our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud, and shall be uh, dispersed as a mist, that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. So these people know that they're only going to be here for a short time. Their life is as a vapor. Okay. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away. And after our end, there is no returning for it is fast sealed 
so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. And that's exactly what they've been doing. Come right now and enjoy everything right now. Enjoy everything that is here that is present. Enjoy the Most High's chosen land. Enjoy his people. Okay? Seven, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments, and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our um, voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. For this is our portion, and our lot is this. This is you Gentiles right here, showing you guys to the G. The voluptuousness is our lands. And they're all taking, they've all been able to take parts in, you know, our lands, our beaches, all that stuff. And now that the Most High is shutting that down, they're losing their minds. Now it's slavery to stay in your house. Okay? 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. So they got our, they got our chance to, you know, take over our people, and they were going to oppress the poor righteous man. You know, they oppressed all of our people. The men, women, children, old, everybody. Okay. 11. Let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So in their, you know, police officers, police force, judicial system, that's where their power comes from. That's why every time it's always, oh, thank you for your service. Oh, we love Blue Lives Matter. We don't care what they do to you because this is where they got their power. This is how they maintain their power. Okay, so again, 11, let our strength be the law of justice. And it's like why, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times uh, when they do things, they don't have to pay. When we don't even do things, we have to pay. That's why, because everything's been set up against us so that they can enjoy their lives. Just like recently, we've been seeing like a lot of people, a lot, especially a lot of white people showing up with guns, showing up with, you know, fully, you know, automatic weapons uh, loaded and the police officers do absolutely nothing. But let us try something like that. Let us try to show up and protest like that. What do you think would happen to us? Well, we know exactly what would happen to us because it's been happening. So that's your 11. Let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. 12. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. And he is clean contrary to our doings. He abradeth, uh, abradeth us with our offending the law and objecteth uh, to our infamy, the transgressings of our education. This is huge, and this is exactly what is going on. That's why they had to make up two sides in their society. So they're always fighting between, you know, Democrats, Republicans, black, white, everything. They always have to make up something because there are people that are not for their part not for their turn. The Hebrews are not for the turn of the other nations. We have not been for their turn for them to enjoy our lands. We just had to kind of sit here and wait because we were serving out our punishment. That's why they try to laugh everything off that we say, which we could care less at this point. I said, because, um, you know, I said, they have no, <laughs> they have no status. They have no stature. If you can't, if your churches are all shut down, if you can't even go into your church, how in the hell are you supposed to be leading people to heaven? How are you supposed to be in some, you know, moral high ground to teach people how to get to heaven, but you can't even go in your church? The Most High has shown that everything that you have stood for, all the lies that you have brought, are nothing. And you have no power. So right there in 12, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. So right now, we're not, hey, well, that's why when you guys keep saying, hey, let's all come together. Let's all work together. And I'm like, hell no. Why is that? Because I'm not for your turn. I am not here so that you can be returned back to your pl uh, position and I can be put back down at the bottom. Now, if you got some other coon ass Negroes out here, who want to, uh, you know, go back with you, join hand in hand so you can be back on top and you can oppress him, be my guest. But for the vast majority of people who have been awakened now and have actually sense and can, and can see what's going on through all praises of the Most High, 
those people are not going to be for your turn. We were, and, and we were never for your turn before. It's just we had to just kind of suck it up because we were told to pretty much just be quiet, suck it up, you know, take this punishment. And that's what we've done. But now that the Most High has awakened us, no, we're not for your turn. I am definitely not, and I'm sure most people are not, for going back to status quo and putting us back at the bottom and then putting Esau and these Gentiles back on top of us. And the ones in the know already understand what's going on. That's why they've run. That's why they've been running, and that's why they ran to their places. Okay, so again, uh, because he is not for our turn, as he is clean contrary to our doings, yes, because we don't, we follow those laws as best we can. We try to follow, you know, follow the Most High as best we can. Okay, but He abradeth us with our offending the law. So we we follow the Most High as best we can. We follow His feast days. We don't follow theirs, and that makes them feel very uncomfortable. You know, that's why when you come into the truth and you get so much pushback from people that you, you know you thought were close to you that loved you, and, you know, you're just trying to follow the ways of the Most High, and they're just trying to attack you every which way. That's what's been going on, okay? And objecteth to our infamy and transgressings of our education. He professeth to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calleth himself the child of the, of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. Now, that's what my brother and I were talking about, especially this part in particular, that we were made to reprove their thoughts. So, as see, they want everybody to get out here and protest. I'm like, shoot, I'm not protesting. Yeah, you guys go ahead and go out there and protest. And it will also tell you about what the scriptures say about what you're doing. How you're the ones out here that are now defying the Most High. Because the Most High has now said that, you know, your time of enjoying our lands and whatever else is over with. And you guys can't handle that. So now you're going to go against what the Most High says. So we're made to reprove these actions. When they sit here and say, oh, you know, it's, it's these people's God-given right to enjoy these beaches. We're the ones that are here to reprove those thoughts. Say, oh, no, they're not. Those are our beaches. And if you do go out there and enjoy this half, and enjoy all this stuff, just be prepared for what the Most High is about to do to you. See, this, this is how we reprove the thoughts of the other nations. They want everybody to either, you know, agree with them or, you know, or take, either take the sides of the Democrats or the Republicans. I could care less about either group. Neither group has cared about us. But see, now that they're starting to uh, have to deal with inconveniences and things being taken away, now they seem to think that we're going to all rally together and go after, you know, go against what the government says. I'm like, nope, you guys go ahead and go do that. You guys have fun with that. I said, that's not my fight. I said, I'll stay out of the way and let you guys go ahead and do that. And then see what the Most High does to all these people that are out here. You know, you're not going against what the, what the Most High says. You're going against what, you know, you're not going against what these governors say and these mayors and these politicians, you're going to, you're going against what the most high has said. He gave you our lands for a certain time. Those times are over with. Okay. Let's go to 14. He is, well, let's read 14 again. He was made to approve our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Us Hebrew Israelites, the ones that are in the truth here. Yes. Our life is much different. We're much n another fashion. We're not here, you know, to uh, follow good times Jesus. We're not here to follow party all the time Jesus. We're here for our mission. We're here to work together to do the will of the Most High. You other people are here just to have a great time and enjoy yourselves. So I just stay out of the way and let you guys go do that. But see, that's what you guys have been doing. But now... You know, Most High is putting a stop to that, and you guys are losing your mind. That's like slavery to you guys. Not being able to party, not being able to have a great time, that's part. That's the worst thing, because that's exactly what they were set up here to do. Party and have a good time. Okay? So they don't know how to handle that. That's okay, though. Let's see here. Um, Let's see here. 15, he is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. 
he pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed, and maketh his boast that God is his father. And that's what we do. We do make that boast that the Most High of the Scriptures is our Father. He's not the Father of everyone. So you guys are welcome to make up good times Jesus, because he sent spirits over you guys, over the other nations in order to lead them astray, lead them away from the Most High. So if that's what you guys want to believe, go right ahead and do that. Okay? That's why you guys are so adamant on opening up everything so you guys can go back. Because that is your God. Partying and having a good time. That is your God. Good times, Jesus. Party all the time, Jesus. That's your God. So not being able to go out and enjoy our lands is like slavery and death to you. Because that's all that you have. You have nothing else. And we, as the people of the Most High, the people of the book, have been raised up to reprove your thoughts. Because you think that everybody thinks like you. You think that everyone thinks about partying all the time. But there are a select few that don't think like you and will definitely let you know that what you're doing has nothing to do with the power of the scriptures, but has to do with the God that you made up. And that's why the Most High shut down your churches and shut down your society. Because part of the time Jesus has ran his course. He's done. And now the Most High is raising up his people to reprove your thoughts. And I know that even though a lot of people look at the videos and don't say anything, when they go to bed, the Most High vexes their spirit and gives them this truth. And they're hearing how we are definitely not for their turn. And how we are definitely here to vex their spirit and give them the truth. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.